Hello everyone and welcome to Prof Talks. In today's presentation, we'll have a look at the warning letter issued for Medjel Pithampur Indore facility which was published on 20th July 2023. The warning letter was issued for a special economic zone phase 2 Pithampur plant for the inspection which was conducted in January 23 to 27, 2023. The response which was submitted by the firm on February 17 was not accepted by the USFDA. The warning letter defines three basic observations, the first of which is to fail to thoroughly investigate unexplained discrepancy or failure of the batch. So it states that the firm invalidated out of specification results without any adequate scientific justification. During the inspection, it was noted that a lot of number of uh, OS observations for the batch assay for OTC capsule products have been invalidated and they lacked adequate hypothesis testing and evidence to support the root cause. The probable cause identified in many of the observations was due to sample preparation error. So there were several OS out of 2019 to 2022. This attributable root cause was the uh, sample preparation error. However, like uh, no appropriate systemic kappa was taken. So in the response to the observation, the firm submitted some kappas, but the kappas were inadequate because they were specific to the identified observation and lacked a comprehensive scope. Before moving ahead, please ensure that you have subscribed to the channel Prof Talks and have pressed the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of upcoming presentations. Second aspect in the first observation is inadequate investigations of the humidity excursions. So there were a number of humidity excursions into the manufacturing area as well as the stability chambers. However, the, there was no adequate investigation carried out to address that specific case okay and uh, the US FDA investigators were unable to review the raw data between December 22 to January 23 because the data is not backed up and deleted every month okay and in uh, this response they have stated uh, that it is due to some dehumidifier issue however not mentioned any specific steps taken for that uh, rectification of that particular dehumidifier also based on some evaluation of uh, evaluation and review of the data the firm stated that there is no impact on the quality of the product due to this humidity excursions but it is not supported by the adequate additional testing and the data so the FDA expects that in response to this letter, the firm should provide the microbiological test results of the all the drug products that are currently into the US market, a retrospective independent review of all the invalidated OS. Okay, they should determine whether scientific justification and evidence related to invalidated OSs are available. For investigation that conclusively establish the laboratory root cause, they should provide a rationale. And for the OS that do not conclusively find the root cause, a manufacturing investigation should be thoroughly carried out. A comprehensive review of remediation of the OS results investigation system should be carried out which should include the quality unit oversight of the laboratory investigation, identification of adverse laboratory trends, resolution of the causes of uh, laboratory variation, initiation of thorough investigation and potential manufacturing causes, adequate scoping of each investigation and revised investigation procedures for all these remediation. The second observation cited is the quality unit failed to exercise its responsibility. Okay, in that it stated the quality unit did not provide adequate oversight into the manufacturing and the laboratory operations specifically for the control access to the master records and the batch records, controlled correction and disposal of GMP documentation, contemporaneous documentation, appropriate data integrity controls and procedures for review of audit trail data and raw data. In the response, they have stated that the non-contemporaneous recording issue was due to the manual error and human error and have proposed to implement a second person check. However, the response is inadequate because it lacked the details on how quality unit would oversee the implementation of the CAPAs and effectiveness. Also, the CAPAs were specific to the specific observation that was cited and did not extend uh, to the other GMP documentation aspects and the laboratory systems. This is a repeat observation from 2019. So it states that the uh, CAPAs that were implemented for the 2019 observations are ineffective. The FDA recommends the firm to uh, overview again the GMP data integrity guidance that is issued by the FDA to ensure how remediation should be carried out. And in response to this letter, they expect a comprehensive investigation into the extent of inaccuracies in data record, a risk assessment of the potential effect of the observed failures onto the quality of the product, and a comprehensive management strategy that includes the details of the global CAPA plan. Third observation is the firm failed to test samples of each component for identity and conformity to the specification. Okay, so in this adequate testing for each component is not carried out. 
the component identity testing did not include the limit test for diethylene glycol and ethylene glycol on all lots of glycerin loperine glycol and sorbitol solutions also uh, the uh, firm accepted the impurities listed on the api suppliers coa without performing the impurity testing on the apis so in response they stated that uh, they will be carrying out the impurity testing uh, for the three lots of the recently received uh, samples from the suppliers also for the deg and uh, eg testing uh, or whatever products are into the market they'll carry out the testing on to these products as well as Uh, they reviewed their data retrospectively and stated that uh, no uh, no reports have been observed out of limit for the uh, specified test and they also stated that all the existing raw materials will be tested however the response was inadequate because they did not provide a risk assessment for the finished products on the market and within the expiry date and also lacked uh, details regarding the plan on the interim controls So in response to this observation the FDA expects a comprehensive independent review of the material system to determine whether all suppliers are adequately qualified and all incoming materials are of the appropriate quality a summary of the test results of the reserved samples for all the finished product lots for uh, the glycerin polyethylene glycol and propylene glycol a chemical and microbiological quality control specification for the use of release of the incoming material a description of how they will test each component lot for conformity a summary of results obtained from testing all components to evaluate the reliability of the coa a summary of the program for qualifying and overseeing the contract testing laboratories a specific note stated that the use of ingredients contained with deg and eg have resulted into various lethal poisoning and the firm should refer the us fda guidance for the same This warning letter also cites that the quality systems of the firm are inadequate and specifically refers the guidances the firm should see that is ICHQ9 on the quality risk management ICHQ10 on the pharmaceutical quality system and ICHQ8 pharmaceutical development it also states about the GMP consultant recommendation and based on the violation it is recommended that the firm should uh, hire and continue the services of approved uh, GMP consultants however the firm's executive management remains responsible for for resolving all the deficiencies and the systematic flaws conclusion in the conclusion it is a standard template the violations cited uh, in this letter are not all inclusive and the firm should take uh, their own measures to determine additional non conformances correct any violations properly without which the uh, fda might uphold the approval of new applications or the ongoing applications failure to address any violation might result into the import alert the letter notifies the finding and the firm should respond within 15 working days onto the specified email address and this letter has been signed by francis godwin director office of manufacturing quality office of compliance cder we come to the end of this presentation hope you have liked the presentation kindly subscribe to the channel prof talks for more such informative videos